What is CAC approval? CAC approval in numismatic stands for Certified Acceptance Corporation Approval. It's a process where a third-party organization assesses and approves the quality and authenticity of a coin. In simple words, it's like getting a seal of approval to confirm that a coin is genuine and in excellent condition. Collectors and buyers often value CAC-approved coins more because they have extra assurance about the coin's quality and authenticity. It helps them make informed decisions when buying or trading coins. Number 7. Here is 1932 D. Washington quarter in MS-64 condition. Scarce CAC-approved example. The 1932 D. Washington quarter is one of the two big key dates of the series. Its mintage of 436,800 coins is the second lowest of the series. This choice mint state example is in an accessible grade, although it is scarce with CAC endorsement. A few small marks are seen. Satiny luster and traces of light golden toning accent each side. It ended up selling for $3,240. Number 6. 1958 D. Franklin half dollar in MS 67 plus condition with full bell lines. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1958 D. Franklin half dollar is plentiful overall, and the mint state population is well balanced between coins with full bell lines and those without. The former category is highly sought after in superb gem condition by registry collectors, and while such coins are occasionally seen, plus graded pieces are scarce. Frosty luster and pristine surfaces complement boldly rendered central devices. Vivid multicolor toning encompasses the reverse and the left obverse margin, leaving the remainder of the obverse iridescent white. It was sold for $4,200. Number 5. This is 1955 Lincoln Cent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 63 brown by PCGS and proven by CAC. The 1955 double die has long been a staple of the Lincoln Cent series and an iconic 20th century mint error. An entire generation of collectors owes much of their love for numismatics to endless days as a youngster searching pocket change for this elusive and dramatic mint anomaly. Examples are usually available today, even in mint state, but accessible pieces in the brown color category seldom have good eye appeal. This piece bucks that trend. Each side displays luminous, original satin luster and a bold strike. There is a distinct lack of abrasions, and only a few flecks are noted on the reverse. It was sold for $5,160. Number 4. This is 1912 S. Lincoln sent in MS 65 plus red condition. The 1912 S is a challenging date to acquire in full red color, and it is particularly scarce at the gem level. Finer red coins are rare. This CAC endorsed example stands apart from the majority of its peers. Satiny blonde copper luster complements well struck design elements and a lack of serious abrasions. A few tiny pepper specks are seen in the right obverse field. It ended up selling for $9,000. Number 3. Here is vividly toned 1940 Walking Liberty half dollar in PR 68 plus condition. Mintages for proof coinage remained on the upswing in 1940, though this Walker half dollar issue still claims a small production of 11,279 pieces. Unsurprisingly, those coins were saved by collectors resulting in an average certified grade of PR 65. The CAC approved surfaces showcase a delicate overlay of pastel blue and violet color with shades of golden orange and sea green mixed in. It was sold for $21,600. Number 2. This is 1913 D. Lincoln sent in MS 66 plus red condition. CAC proven superb gem. This issue is only moderately scarce in circulated grades, and enough mint state pieces have survived to meet the needs of most collectors. The census data reveal that this is also a relatively plentiful issue in fully red gem condition, something that rarely can be said of mint mark sense dated 1911-15. Fully struck pieces from fresh dyes are scarce. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $13,500 with buyer's fee. Number 1. And here is 1943's Lincoln sent in MS 68 plus condition. According to Ron Guth, the 1943 S. Lincoln cent represents the San Francisco version of the zinc-coated steel cents issued by the U.S. government as a replacement for the bronze versions used up until that date. Demand for copper escalated in World War II because of its use in weapons and assorted other items necessary to prosecute the war effectively. Over 100,000,943 S. steel cents were struck, making them very common today. Apparently, 
collectors saved many thousands of mint state examples, as evidenced by the large number of certified examples in the MS66 and MS67 grades. In MS68, this date is scarce, but not rare, and collectors have ample opportunities to obtain an example in this grade, something that is not possible with other dates in the series. Anything higher than that grade is considered rare. This MS68 Plus gem ended up selling for $46,125 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons before you continue watching another video on YouTube. And feel free to leave a comment down below. Take care.